Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video, I'm going to show you my jailbroken iPhone 3G running iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 1. Now, the dev team, including Muscle Nerd and a bunch of other people who've been working on this for the past week, has just released Red Snow 0.9.5. Um, at this moment, it only supports the iPhone 3G and it only supports OS 10. For now, uh, they'll probably work on Windows and all the other devices soon. So if you want to figure out how to jailbreak your 3G running iPhone OS 4.0, just go over to gumballtech.com or click on the link in the description area down below, I guess that's where it is now. And uh, if you want to get your UDID activated for iPhone OS 4.0, also go to the link that you see in the description area. I guess it's down that way, I'm doing the little finger pointing thing like other YouTubers. So I guess I'll give you a little tour of the things I have manually enabled. So as you can see here in the upper right corner we have the battery percentage which is currently only available on the iPhone 3G and the 3GS. Or excuse me, the iPhone 3G and the, and the iPod Touch 3rd generation. And uh, with a simple P-list edit you could easily add native battery percentage to any device in the usage area in settings. And then it, obviously you can see that I have a home screen wallpaper. This feature is only available on the 3GS and the third generation iPod Touch, but with a simple P-list edit anybody could add this feature to their device if it's jailbroken. Um, next we have multitasking. If I just double tap the home button, we'll bring up it will bring up the list of applications that are currently backgrounded. Uh, tapping on one will instantly bring it up like that. It's pretty fast. Um, I haven't actually been able to figure out how to prevent an application from staying in the background because it seems to be doing that automatically. You can see that messages just opened instantly and calculator is also instantly loading and settings should be in the background still. And what's pretty cool about the way Apple implemented this is that you could easily switch between your uh, backgrounded applications that are already open by just double tapping and tapping on one of the icons in the little multitasking dock. Uh, what's cool about this is that it sort of fades out of your current app and then it brings up your the one that you'd like to go to. It's pretty intuitive and it works really well. I'm still curious as to how many apps I could actually run or save into the background because it pretty much just freezes the app, it saves the, the state of the app in the memory and then it goes on with the other stuff. Let's see what wallpaper options we have here. So if I try to set these as my wallpaper, I should be able to get the home screen wallpaper option right here. So I will cancel out of that and see what else we may have. I did notice that my cellular data uh, log, it reset my stuff. Not too big of a deal, but it would have just been nice if it stayed the way it was. Uh, here is the battery percentage toggle under general and usage. Network, everything should be the same right there. It doesn't really want to load at this moment. Um, let me see if I could restart settings. All right, here's the network menu. That's all the same. Um, home button, I think, I don't know what happened, but a lot of the home button settings disappeared. Um, I'll look into that a little bit later. Uh, messages, I did notice that MMS stopped working. Um, I think I'll have to edit the plist file again. I might have accidentally deleted. I might have accidentally deleted the MMS line, or I think I set it to false. That's probably what I did. Um, here's Cydia. Cydia, it works fine for now. There's still some bugs and random network errors that they'll have to work out, but it works fine. As you can see, it sort of started a little bit later than it may have, but. There are three 
applications running in the background right now, so I don't really know if that has a huge impact on Cydia at this moment. Um, so again, the tool that I used to jailbreak was Red Snow 0.9.5. It's the latest Red Snow beta, and as you can see, this is mainly meant for developers only, since those are usually the people who's supposed to have this anyway. And unless you have your UDID activated, this does not activate it to where you don't re need to have your UDID activated to use the 4.0 betas. Again, if you want to get yours activated, just look at the link in the description box down below. Actually getting to the jailbreak is really easy. You just browse for your 4.0 form firmware for the iPhone 3G, let it process, click on next, let it go through its stuff, and then click on install Cydia. It should already be checked and then click on next. And then you just follow the rest of this, uh, the rest of the prompts that you'll get with Red Snow. Uh, I did notice that with 4.0, there's a lot of cellular data problems where it may not connect to the internet, or it may say that the host name is not found, or something stupid like that. But this is Cydia, and it's it seems to be working in OS 4.0. It's just sort of chugging along there. Hopefully it doesn't try to background itself because I did just post the home button. So I don't know if it's going to try to background it or not. Yeah, I think it does. Maybe not. Yeah, it, it didn't background Cydia. So anyway, that was just a quick overview of a jailbroken iPhone 3G running OS 4.0 Beta 1 with the gas gauge battery meter enabled, the home screen wallpaper enabled, the launch while launch application while animating. Uh, that pretty much is another thing I added to the plist file that lets your applications load while you are, while the little splash screen animation shows up. This makes your apps load pretty, pretty, uh, considerably faster than before. Uh, that feature is actually only on the 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation, which is probably one of the reasons why it's a little bit faster than the 3G and the second gen touch. And I also enabled multitasking, as you can see here. Works pretty well. Some of these apps are still backgrounded and they open up pretty fast. So overall, this jailbreak is worth it. Everything seems to be running the same speed as without the jailbreak. So follow me on Twitter if you'd like to get more 4.0 beta 1 jailbreak updates, twitter.com slash bsuite. Also visit us on the web, gumballtech.com, if you want to learn how to jailbreak your device on 4.0 beta 1. Also go to os4activation.com if you want to get your UDID activated so that you could give the betas a try, including all the future betas and the final Golden Master release. So that's about it for this video. We'll see you next time.